These are the Vitro One XR glasses. I'm a big fan of these because they allow me to bring a huge virtual screen wherever I go in order to play my 2D games or to watch movies. And they have amazing accessories. For example, I can watch movies together with my wife or play 2D games together with my wife because she also owns one and they, well, they have these accessories. Until now, this was not ideal for iPhone users because, well, until the iPhone 14, this is my wife's phone. It only had a lightning adapter, right? And the USB-C didn't work. For the iPhone 15 Pro that I own now, this works perfectly. I can simply put them in and watch Netflix and so on and so forth. But if you own an iPhone until iPhone 14, now they also have a solution for you. This is the new Viture HDMI adapter for the iPhone. And this is not only an, an adapter, this also comes with Bluetooth so that this will allow you to use your iPhone as a 3DOF pointing device. And you can have like multiple screens, very cool stuff. So let's have a look into their own video to see what this is supposed to be able to do. And then we're going to check it out for ourselves. Working remotely shouldn't be complicated. <laughs> It should be convenient, available anytime, and easy to see. Now it is with Future One's XR iPhone adapter. Connect your XR glasses directly to an iPhone for an expanded multi screen desktop to click and make selections. Use the rotary knobs to dial in your vision. Bring up more windows with a quick search. Scroll, swipe, or minimize your screen. A quick tap creates an immersive viewing experience. The XR adapter can also charge your phone, so you don't have to pause a thing. The built-in Harman speakers provide excellent sound for your ears only. Turn your iPhone into an XR experience with Vature One. All right, now they really made that look amazing, didn't they? They can do these videos. So let's check it out. This is what you get for $69 if you simply buy the adapter or you can also buy it together with the headset for $508. And probably that's the one that you want to go for if you don't have the glasses yet. And these are the glasses. Yeah, I've checked them out already. Still the best looking AR video glasses, in my opinion. Very cool. Very cool. Do check out my other video about it. Okay, this is my wife's iPhone 13 with that lightning port. I already have the 15, so I don't need that. But well, she does need it. And the Vitro app, Spacewalker is the name, is already installed there. Good, good. So let's open that uh, lightning adapter thingy first. You also need that part. Yep, so this is the iPhone adapter. And let's directly go to the Vitro one. And here we go. All of their packaging is so well done. You've already seen that in my Vitro one unboxing of the headset and of the accessories. So here, the same great design. Let's open this and let's check this out together, how this whole thing looks like. And here it is, the HDMI adapter from Viture. Let's check out all the different parts of it. So here HDMI and lightning that goes into the Apple adapter. And on the other side, we have a button. And here we have um, two USB-C ports. One for power and the other one here for the glasses. Nice. Right. This part goes into the adapter. Let's simply do this. And yeah, that should fit perfectly. And of course it does. Right. And that's basically it. The other part now goes into your iPhone just like so. And that's it. Now we are ready to put in the glasses and to use the app. All right, so everything is now connected to my wife's iPhone 13 Pro. And I guess that is the moment of truth now where I would connect the Vitro One XR glasses to the iPhone. 
which before didn't work and the Space Walker app is installed. Everything is ready to go. So let's see if it just works out of the box. I haven't read any kind of manual and I just expect it to work, right? That's, that's um, how consumers roll. Okay, I connected it and oh, there it is. Oh, wow. Firmware update, it says. Yeah, I want to do it. want to do it in a moment. But this is cool. I can already see, I can already see like the menu and this working as like a pointing device, which is fantastic. Let's wait until this updates and then let's explore it further. All right, the adapter is updated and now let's look into this. So unfortunately, I cannot show you what I see. So I can, I just have to tell you, there is like um, a menu floating in front of me. Browser window opens, which is cool. Search or enter website name. Okay, cool. So I am using this now as like um, to double click. And if I need to input some kind of yeah text, this becomes a keyboard and I can simply use it to enter the text. Cool. And okay, the browser opens and I am on the virtual, yeah, I'm on the virtual homepage now. And here it is floating in front of me. Cool. And everything with an iPhone 13 Pro. So that is nice. Let's do this. Let's open, let's open a third window now. Let's go to Twitter or X. Huh, that is pretty cool. So on the main screen now, I have Twitter going on. And on the right, there's the Witcher homepage. So yeah, cool. It does work. It does work like in the video. So what is not working as good as in the video is that the screens, the virtual screens, they don't perfectly stay in space, right? So if I move my head like this, so yeah, they will not perfectly stay in, in, in space at all, especially if I do up and down, basically there's nothing. But if I do right and left, yes, with right and left, I can look at the different virtual screens. So it is not six degrees of freedom, but it is not bad. And what is also cool, so this here now is my touchpad. And if I swipe on the touchpad, also I can move the virtual screens. So now I have like um, YouTube on one of the virtual screens and I could simply look to the other side. Where is now my Twitter? I've just logged in and it works. And I can look back to YouTube. So I can, I can watch this YouTube video here. Let me turn it on again. It's like some basketball game. But well, if the action is boring, I can check my um, my Twitter, and that actually that actually works. It is not gimmicky. It feels it feels good. So this is cool that you can now do this kind of like multitasking with those virtual screens. I'm too bad that I cannot show this to you because this is actually pretty nice. They also have like a file preview, and if I click on the file preview now on my phone. Like it will show me the, the files that I recently used or my wife recently used, <laughs> sorry. And I can click on something, let's see. Okay, here's a Word document. I click on it and cool, it does open here. <laughs> and wow, okay, this is actually great. The, the Word document opened here and I can, I can like, um, yeah, also like um, click through it. Oh, this works. This works really like so well. I can browse through it, read it, and I can still look back on Twitter. So yeah, this is this is now really giving you several virtual screens and that is surprising that this works so well. And the great thing is if you want to uh, watch Netflix or anything, then you simply stop the app and your your normal iPhone screen. I see that now here in, in, in the headset. So I simply start my Netflix app or whatever I want to watch and I can watch this now and it works so well. So all your Netflix downloaded movies, you can now watch it in the bus, in the train, in the plane. And well, you will look like this and you can have like a very nice, very huge virtual screen. So now for iPhone users, this works really well. All right, let's get to the conclusion. It works as advertised. So if you don't have an iPhone 15, but you have an iPhone with lightning port, you can now use the Vitua One and well, you can watch Netflix on a huge virtual screen. You can play your 2D games on a huge virtual screen. All these iPhone, uh, Apple Arcade games, you can play them now on that huge virtual screen. And I like it. I really like it. I liked the headset before, 
But for iPhone users, now this really becomes very exciting. And you can simply pick up the iPhone bundles. So these glasses and this adapter for around $500. The link down in the description of this video. So very nice. I can recommend it to you. Is everything as perfect as in the nice ad? No. So the screens, the virtual screens, they will not perfectly stay in space. Right, so they are not fixed there. They will move together with you. If you look up and down especially, they will move with you a bit. And uh, only if you look left and right, yes, then actually it will, it will work with the three degrees of freedom tracking. And that is something that you need to understand. Doesn't look exactly as cool as in the video, but it does work as advertised. So yes, you can uh, have several browser windows open. It works. You can uh, watch YouTube and Twitter, for example, or whatever you need. Probably you need the latest Bitcoin charts or whatever. Yes, it works and that's really cool. And only you see it, right? That's also another cool thing. Probably you don't want others to, to peek into what you're doing here. So only you can see it. Very nice for privacy. And you can use this phone as a pointer to point at things, to click at things. You can use it for um, text input and as a mouse cursor. So the whole software, it looks very polished and it works very nicely. So well done, Vitsure. All the stuff that they're doing, it just feels very polished and nice. And I, I can recommend this to you if you're an iPhone user and if you always wanted these kind of cool glasses. Great that Vitsure was thinking about all the iPhone users until iPhone 14 because I believe lots of you out there. Yes, so again, links down in the description of this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you've not yet subscribed to MRTV, you should absolutely do this because, well, on this channel, you're getting reviews about all these cool devices that you can put on your head, all these immersive stuff. This is the great place to watch reviews about it. Yes, give it a thumbs up. And um, well, other than that, I can simply say I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye.